Power BI provides a set of visualizations we can choose to display the data that user can interact in a very interactive manner. And one of most impressive visualizations is the map visualization, in which we can define a set of regions, points in the map, and the user can interact directly in the map visualization and see data related to each specific region. So in this video, we are going to explore how we can do that in one very specific use case. The data we are going to work with is going to be extracted by this web page. In Wikipedia, we have a list of countries by Human Development Index. By coincidence, this data is presented in a graphical manner here in this picture. But in our case, it's going to be a Power BI map visualization in which user can pass the cursor through the, the country and then see its respective value of Human Development Index. And where is the data we are going to work with? The data is here in a few tables below in which we have the country name and its related index. So we are going to present all this information with Power BI making one data extraction. The first step is going to, after opening your Power BI desktop, click here to get data. So we are going to wait to see the options available. And we are going to take the data from web. Here we choose web and click in connect. Now just wait. It's going to show a pop-up to us. Then we can now input the URL we are going to extract the data, which is that Wikipedia URL. Now it can take some time. It has found, so far I have seen, 14 tables in the web page. So we are going to wait it to print here in the interface a pop-up with the list of all tables identified in this specific web page. All the data is being extracted from the data source. That's why we need to wait um, that, that moment. As you can see here, it's going to build the navigator. That is a page in which we can navigate through all tables that is available in, in Wikipedia. And then we are going to filter which table has the data we want to work with. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of tables and we do not know exactly what table has the data we want to work with. So we are going to perform a few previews of the data that is inside this table. How you can do that? You just click over the table name and then it's going to print here one preview of its data. So I know it's not this table one. I know it's not this table two. I know it's not the table three. And we go on until we find the correct table which contains the human development index per country. Okay, not found yet. None of these tables. Okay, maybe some of these first ones. Here, it was the second table here, but that's the work. We need to explore the tables. And here, as you can see, we have in the column three, the country name and in column four, the human development index, which we are going to work with. So now we confirm the table selection, clicking here, and then 
we need to load this table. So just a moment here, now it's selected. So just click here to, to load and it's going to, um, to bring the data to our Power BI. But before loading that, let's go transform that and, and design a proper data model to make our work easier. Here we have the transform data screen that's named Power Carry Editor. So we can adjust for we have the, the model in a better, better convention for our work. For instance, we have here a column named column tree. It's not a good name. We could rename that for having a better name. So instead of column tree, it could be named country. So a better name. And instead of column four, we could have a name like human development index, HTI. So we are going to rename this column to human development index. Then other tables are not important in our scenario. So we are going to remove the column, the whole column to the whole column one and the row column five that I'm not interested in this data in my report. So it's very important to clean up the data we are going to work with. Here we have some kind of rows for control purpose. So this first row, this first two rows is not important to me. So I can just take that out. Just a moment here. We just need to clean up this data. Then we are going to avoid errors. We are going to avoid errors when when working with this data. Just let me see in case there is more lines with problem, but no, just these, these specific ones. Okay, we have some rows here with this new value that maybe is not interesting to, to us because they could lead to, to, to wrong interpretations in our chart. So it's nice when we can just take that out. Here it has some kind of of uh, of transformations like replace errors. It's not exactly one error, but we'd like to eliminate to eliminate the um, the lines with new values. So I'm just seeing if, if you have here some kind of some kind of filter for avoiding new, new values, but I think they're not. So probably we can just make here some kind of replacement. We well, find no replace with zero better as as no values in our scenario. We can understand that no is not one valid option. Okay, one last transformation we have to do to have this data properly processed. We can click here in this column. There is here one option that is the type of this column and by default it's a text column but we know we are talking about a location a location so there are specific data type for that purpose i cannot see here uh some options in this list but there are specific options for country, for city, for, for location values like latitude on, and longitude. So there are types that are more, more suitable for this scenario. But unfortunately, I cannot see that in this, 
in this list of values. So we can just take that as it is now, and then we go on to the um, to the map transformation. Now we are in the most fun part when we are going to build our map visualization. As you can see here, we already have the data we have extracted, loaded, and transformed here. So how to display that? We are going to click here in this globe icon. It means the map visualization. So just click over that. It's going to prepare here this visualization that is empty until this moment. But now we have a click on that. You can see here we have a location field waiting to be defined. And which is going to be our location? It's going to be the country field. So just drag and drop there inside location. Now we have already the country defined. And then we need to input now the legend, what data we are going to display per country. And then it's going to be the human development index. It's already properly defined, but as you can see, the map are disabled. So for enable that, we need to go to these options, file, options and settings, options, global and security. So file, we need to go to op options and settings as requested, options again. Yeah, now we need to wait to open then the global option and then secure it. So we just need to wait the menu to, to be displayed to us. Global and then secure it. And then we has to look for map, use map and fill it map visuals. So just define that and now click in OK. Now we have done the whole procedure, but maybe, but maybe we need to do that again. Maybe not update our line. So we delete the map and we do again the process. Select the global, the map visualization. It's here. We drag the country field inside location. And we also, do you see now it loads the map. Now we have a, a map loading here to us without the security problem. And now we load again the human development index in the legend. And now it's done. Now we have just to wait the map to be plotted. Do you see how nice it is? So we can do that in a very good size for interaction. And then when we set the cursor of, over a specific country, you can see the index. It's amazing, right? So you can see here for each specific country, what is its human development index. Here in Europe, as you can see, it's difficult to interact here because we have a lot of countries near each other. So you can just make the zoom bigger. And now you can interact in a very interesting manner. So do you see how simple it is to build the map visual with Power BI? So that was the purpose of this video. Hope you have enjoyed that and thank you for your attention.